Today, we have the ability to utilize technology to evaluate the skin, sun damage, pore size, redness, wrinkles, and individualize a skincare product or a skincare series of products that can help their problems. Being able to show a patient what their problem is and where they're going to be in a given period of time is critical for skincare. There's no one pathway for everybody, but if you can get on the same page with the patient and it can communicate what their problems are and then show them where they're going to be, that's how you develop a regimen that's particularly useful for an individual. Men don't like to put on a lot of products, so we have to come up with a more simple regimen. Men's skin usually has a little bit more sun damage, less wrinkle problems. Uh, men don't come in complaining about lines around their mouth. Uh, men come in with tired skin, men come in with sun damage. And so many of the lasers and many of the products we have are particularly good for that. Skin care is not the process that turns the clock back with a single operation and then you're done. Skin care is an ongoing process, best served by preventing damage. Sunscreen, sun prevention, sunblock, good moisturizing, staying ahead of the game. We can, with lasers and more aggressive products, improve things, but because of the way, or the biology of the skin, it continues to age, you need to keep up and continue to manage your skin. You can have 20 products, but if you're not using them, it isn't gonna work. So we gotta have something that fits a patient's lifestyle, meets their goals, and have a, have a, a goal that they can visualize instead of trying a bunch of different things. Trial and error in skincare should go away.